Welcome to the Image Profile Report. I'm your host, Herb Glenn. The relationships of positive women has been culminated in the re opportunities that has been brought in regard to the fine work that this young lady has been able to personify. Teresa Randolph has done an incredible line of work in an area of fashion and beauty, and it is my extreme pleasure to welcome her once again to the set. Thank you, Teresa, for being here with me. Thank you for having me, Mr. Herb Glenn. I'm delighted because uh, you're stepping into a number of different areas that are unique to women, uh, specifically in terms of the method of business. Yes. Uh, you know, beauty and fashion, we expect that. You know, men, we expect you to be vain. We expect you to want to look good. Yeah. And you don't have a problem doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. But what's yeah. so important about it is that you're not intimidated when someone approaches you about it. You've been able to fine tune it and put it into a book, Power of the Plus. One of the things that's so important about this is that you have now pretty much categorized each area of importance to the business that you have been able to create in the last 26 years. 26 years yeah. Talk to us about this book, Power of the Plus, how it evolved and, and why it's so important. Well, as you hold that book, and I like to hold it too, and I like to hold it up, Power of the Plus, Miss Belinda Trotter, who is a fabulous writer, along with myself, Teresa Randolph. I didn't think I could write, but I learned that I can really write because I had so much to say. Mm -hmm. It is the blueprint, okay, to pageants, fashion shows, and modeling careers. This is the checklist. This is the checklist. Why? We all need a checklist. A lot of women feel that they're going to be a fabulous model and quit their day job, and this is going to pay for all the bills. But the full-figured industry is a little different. Why? Because we suggest you get a flexible job that can work around your go sees. What is a go see? That's when you go to an agency and they see you. It's called a go see. Mm -hmm. And you bring your comp card with your pictures on it. And it shows you in the book different things you can do in order to make sure you have that checklist. So when you show up at that agent, you'll know what you should have and you won't come empty handed. It's enlightening. In, in most cases, what you do is you take personal experiences and develop a method yes. in which a, someone could really be a part of knowing how they can learn and what it is to be professional at this process. The things that you have been able to capture in this book go far beyond just modeling though. Yes. It talks about etiquette. It talks about the kind of attitude that a woman should have. You are not a person who is shy away from pictures. And that's incredible for photographers. Because a lot of times people, I don't want to take it, I don't look good, I don't want this, I don't want that. But there's nothing wrong with taking pictures. Talk to me about attitude. Well, to be in our, our line of business, um, wow. You have to maintain a positive attitude, number one. And you can also feel a little conceited at times. There's nothing wrong with that. It's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with feeling good about yourself. Mm -hmm. However, when you're taking pictures, you should always go into your diva mode. What is that? A diva mode. Find the inner self. Okay. And let it come out and exude on the photograph. Wow. You know, it's different than just, now you have social media. Right. So social media has gained uh, I, I, I say a lot about social media because it scares me. We didn't have that back in the day. Okay. So we had just the Polaroid picture that came out, or the kind you pulled out. Right. I'm taking it back. I know. I'm taking it back. Well, the kind you pulled so out. It evolved so quickly, though. <laughs> yes. I mean, like, boom, here we are now. You know, we got right. Instagram. You got, you can do Facebook, television on your, yes. on, on, your, on your cell phone. Right. Uh, you know, so, like, it's not like you're taking it that back that far. <laughs> and, you know, I mean, it just changed overnight in some instances. Yes, it did. But adapting to it using it where it strengthens and builds the kind of relationship a business is so important. How do you really culminate to that effort? Well, I know that pictures and pageantry and photos, all that good stuff goes hand in hand. Mm -hmm. And I just always say to people, you're always on stage. As soon as you walk out that door, you are on stage and first impressions are the lasting ones. You only have one time to make a first impression. You felt that way when you first started out? Well, Yes, from me even being an Ebony Fashion Fair hopeful, by meeting those people through Billy Jones, uh, an Ebony Fashion Fair hopeful, flying out to Chicago, meeting Miss Johnson, auditioning, to find out I was a little too short. Mm -hmm. It was still an inspiration, and I did this while being a full-figured woman. I was in college, went to Upsala College, but I did that by being, when I was a full-figured woman, I'm like, Really? There was no social media. There was no Facebook. There was no, I didn't know how to email. I don't think email was out there. But I showed up and it was 10 other beautiful women from across the United States to audition for Ebony Fashion Fair. And they were only looking for one individual. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know, how did they even find me? However, 
It was through photographs and through newspaper at the time because I won a pageant in New York City. So that's how my face popped up on the scene. But now, full figure women are all over the internet, all over social media, and I just love it. How pop-up shops have started, mm -hmm. how sip and sees, trunk shows, a trunk show when you go and purchase things, and everyone's being entrepreneurial. I love it. Looking at your book and the many concepts that you've been able to identify to, one of the things uh, that I do notice here is you talk about proper diet. When it, you're talking to an idea of attracting full-figured women, mm -hmm. but now you're really sharing with them that there is a purpose in terms of being healthy. Well, yeah, you have to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. You have to take care of your skin. Mm -hmm. You have to cleanse, tone, and moisturize your face. You have to take care of your body the proper way and also wear the proper undergarments, and that's definitely in the book. Dieting is a different way of lifestyle. You have to change your lifestyle. Eating, eating, t drinking water, lots of water, taking your vitamins. Mm -hmm. All those things play a major factor. If you want to be his model, mm -hmm. remember, that's the blueprint, okay? So power of the plus. Every ordinary full figure woman may not pick that book up, but it is things in that book that you can use for everyday living. Power to plus career rule number two. What is your brand? Everyone cannot be the sex kitten. Therefore, what other category would you fit into? The purpose for this idea and looking at it, how you are breaking it down now in relationship to helping people understand exactly what this process is, is this from the conversations that you had with many of the women throughout the years? Yes, yes. As, as you take that little excerpt from the book, everybody is not gonna be fabulous. Mm -hmm. So you have to remember to just look within yourself. And I speak to women all the time. They say, Miss Teresa, do you think you can help me with um, how I should wear my hair or how I should um, pick out a certain pair of shoes to go with this certain dress or even the proper lipstick I should wear if I'm gonna be taking a photo shoot? I get questions, inbox, emails, day after day after day, and I answer each and every one of them. <laughs> You're the Ann Landers of fashion. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> think I, about it. You know, so many women <laughs> now that are into fashion, and mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. We have so many full-figured industry. We are the buying market. We are The average full-figured woman is a size 14. The average I is like a size 14. Yeah. We are the buying market. We spend millions and millions of dollars. And local designers, fashion designers, high-end designers see that. That's why you can get an Isaac Mizrahi dress. That's why you can get a Vera Wang dress. That's why you can get an Isimiyaki dress. You can get all these dresses. And guess what? I even purchased some La Perlas. That's a high-end a lingerie line. But okay. I'm saying they have them in our size. We are the buying market. You got to get them where you fit in. That's some interesting... Um areas of being mm -hmm. able to talk about marketing within itself and how it has now changed and it looks towards the relationship of people as they are in a common environment. The thoughts about it though is, you know, it's a revelation of how it can be effective. But I think what I'm really looking at is talking about not only trend setting, but how individuals are lacking an opportunity to be able to learn about being a woman and that now they have a blueprint to be able to use to work with that whole idea of it. Are there a lot of women who have that kind of a problem? Well, I can honestly say this. Women, you choose to look the way you want to look because you want to look that way. There are vehicles and avenues you can take to clean yourself up if you are full figured or thin. It doesn't matter, or average size. What's average? Average size. Mm -hmm. So at the end of the day, I think that people, women, even men, I got to put in this, need to take heed to their appearance. I really feel that strongly within my heart because you only have one time to make a first impression. Mm -hmm. And people look at you at your job, they look at you at home, they look at you when you walk to the store, but just feel more confident about yourself. A lot of people lack confidence because they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. Go at your own pace, do what it is you can do. And the Miss Teresa brand, I had to start branding myself because I became a brand. Yeah. So the Miss Teresa brand, along with Power of the Plus, the book, along with Miss Teresa, the MC, the host to the House Music Festival, Miss Teresa, the traveling pageant director who owns Miss Full Figure USA in Oklahoma, Miss, F Miss Full Figure New York, Miss Full Figure New Jersey, and now we're venturing out to Louisiana, Atlanta, Georgia, and North Carolina. So these things are just 
popping up because it's needed. And that book right there is the blueprint, like I will say time and time again, to everybody who is interested in pageants, fashion shows, or modeling careers. Power of the plus. Power of the plus. We're here with Miss Teresa, who has been one of the individuals who uh, has an opportunity to be inspiring to others. And looking at it from the idea of how you have been an entrepreneur, being a woman, thinking about the facts that a lot of the things that you're doing now is not gender specific. Mm -hmm. How do you think you're going to be able to draw the male into your market? Well, I really haven't figured that out yet. However, um, we embrace a lot of um, men that are on the plus size, I would say. <laughs> and uh, they always ask me about dieting. They ask me what should they eat. Um, and a lot of them have wives that are also plus size. So they ask me for pointers, like what can I do to get my wife to spruce up a little bit? Or where could I go find her something to wear? Or where can I take her that she'll feel comfortable because she's plus size and after the children she doesn't come out anymore. So I'm just like an Ann Landers, like you said, yeah. and giving advice continuously because everyone knows that I, I'm big on the Miss Full Figure USA brand. Does the traveling take a lot out of you? Yes, sometimes I live out of my suitcase and my suitcase sits on my dining room, in my dining room. I'm picking up, leaving, go right to my laundry room in the basement, come back upstairs, pat my dogs, give everyone a kiss goodbye, and I'm off at least three times a month. But I'm taking it down right now because it's pageantry system and um, we're really looking for the plus size women to be involved in the next Miss Full Figure USA pageant, which will be in April of next year. Did you start Miss Full Figure here in Newark? Actually, the first Miss Full Figure, no, the first full figure pageant was Rayfield Morton. He was the first full figure pageant. And where was that? That was. It's in New Jersey. That was in New Jersey, okay. correct. Uh -huh. And then I went on to start the Miss Full Figure USA pageant and branded it and LLC it and all that good stuff. Now, in many instances, uh, you shared with us um, where you were talking about that you do the House Music Festivals. Yes. Um, you've been involved with creating different activities for yes. a number of different celebrities. And looking at the entrepreneurial side of you and the how you've grown and embellished into this really professional woman, but you're still Teresa. Right. The idea about knowing your craft has really made a big difference in the lives of a number of people. Where do you think you're going to be able to take this next era of your relationship since your hometown, Newark, is going to be honoring you this year? You know, it's funny you said that. I was told by Ms. Gail Cheney Phil mm -hmm. <laughs> Jenkins to absorb it. I did all these things throughout the years, feeding the homeless, providing shelter for those who didn't have shelter, also career women, dress for success. That's what a title we dress up. People really don't have it, but want to go look for a job. Mm -hmm. um, beauty tips, hair tips. I just, I just did it and I'm, I'm seeing myself, I'm going to receive it and it didn't go unnoticed. And I never did it to receive accolades. I only did it because I love doing what I do. I love doing what I do. And you got to love what you do. Mm -hmm. And you got to step outside the box. Some mm -hmm. people are afraid to step outside the box. Try something new. Enjoy yourself. Yes. Kick your shoes off. Have a good time. It's amazing for you to say that because I remember during the hurricane and there were victims and you were there helping them, yes. shelter them and give them clothing. And then you brought, you know, your queens with you. Yes. And you showed that they are individuals who have compassion and love. and It emulates you. The embodiment of the pageantry itself is you. Yes. I didn't know what I was really going to start until it started booming and there is no stopping. We're also doing Miss Super, um, Miss Full Figure um, Supermodel. Okay. We just had that competition, Tamika Wilson. And that was the first City year. One. This was the first year. Okay. We kicked it off. That is going well. She she just got back from Paris. She went with Miss Sophia Davis over there. They went to Fashion Week okay. in Paris and she took the sash. So I can honestly say my sash has been it's to another country. Another country. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, to me. Yeah. And um, we're just proud of all of the winners and everything. And I have a bright, bright future ahead. One day I'm going to give away a car. Okay. Like the one day, as soon as I find a sponsor <laughs> for a car. But the queens need to get around. They're well, being requested all over. That's all over. awesome. You know, and thinking about the fact that it still drives off a of sponsorship. Visibility, showing that you are the true example. And knowing how you can culminate it into a relationship that's going to be successful. The value behind this product, the JT Production, mm -hmm. knowing that it will exist long after you and knowing that it has the kind of caliber of quality that can get the type of support that you're looking for. When you get it, how do you think you're going to approach it? Not sure. 
You're not sure? I'm not sure. I'm not going to count my chickens before they hatch. But I can honestly say it's only going to get better with time. <laughs> the women look gorgeous. The younger women are stylish, more styles now. Things, ch times are changing. And I'm changing right along with the times. Yes, so you, you can notice that I really love the reaction that you give me if I ask you. Like, even a dumb question. <laughs> right. I'm like, I can, I can hang with the best of them, you know, but I know when to step back. Okay. And I know when to listen. Some people want to just be heard. A lot of times people like to talk, 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 talk. Just some people need to just listen. I like to listen mm -hmm. to what our plus size community and our entrepreneurs and people are starting new clothing lines, makeup lines. Wow hair weave lines, beauticians, everything. Just listen. So many people have dreams out here. Just go for it. Don't talk about it. Be about it. Another effort that you're going to be making is uh, collecting toys during the Christmas period, yes. Toys for Todd's Drive. Like and on that day, that. you're going to be getting the key to the city. Yes, I will be receiving the key to the city of Newark, New Jersey. And I'm also the first woman person to ever receive a special made key from city council. That's awesome. So they never did that. Gail told me that, so I'm super excited about that. Oh, my God. And it's a Toys for Tots, along myself and along with eight other fabulous promoters. We've come together to do something really huge at the Robert Treat Hotel in New, New Jersey, and it's December the 6th. And we look forward to seeing everyone come out and be there around 8, 830. Something special is going to happen at that time. And I'm super excited. Hopefully, you'll be able to join us. Well, I hope I will as well. And if not, can you just uh, give me a sneak peek? What are you going to be wearing? Oh, my favorite <laughs> designer, Lonnie Sisko. Wow, She's my okay, favorite too. Yeah. But Lonnie Sisko made me an original couture piece, so awesome. I'm super excited about that. Yvette's going to do my hair, Dolls Creation. She's going to do okay. my hair, and um, Jimmy Chu is supp supplying my shoes. So wow. I'm I'm super excited about everything. And you know what? They can follow us. Okay, mm -hmm, okay. we're on Instagram. Right. It's Full Figured USA. We're on Instagram, and I'm also on Instagram, Miss Teresa NJ, M S T H E R E S A N J. So you can follow me on Instagram or Facebook, Teresa Randolph. Fashion, true quality, beauty, elegance. You're just everything. You know, you're a complete package. And I'm just so happy that you're one of my friends. You know, I mean, it's just, <laughs> it's just a great thing to know that you have people that are going to be behind you. You know, I, she could have been anywhere today, but she decided to come and give us some credibility to what we're trying to do to reach our community and show them the kind of quality that we have and people who not only enjoy what they're doing, but continue to do it because they know it's important. I thank you very much for being here. They can go to Power to Plus, mm -hmm. Amazon.com, okay. type in Teresa Randolph right. to get the book. I would like them to do that. I'm super excited. Make Thanks sure you get the book. We really appreciate you being here. Thank you. And it's such man. a thrill that we know that we can be able to help support the effort of being part of your history and being part of what it is that you're trying to do to change the lives of others. I would like to thank you for having me. And I couldn't have done it without my team. I have mm -hmm. a team. Okay. My team is Jackie Epps. My team is Miss Mary Moore, Much More Communications. Okay. My team is Karen Thompson. My team is... Courtney Epps, our marketing director and our social media guru, um, and also national director, Tanya Jeter. So we're very, very excited to just keep the brand and power of the plus. Thank you, Ms. Belinda Trotter. Also, I just exude gratitude. And I think everybody, I thank everybody. Well, thank you very much. And my mom. Thank and you, And your mommy. mom, yeah. yeah. And your mom, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, it's just such a wonderful thing, though. You're thank such you. a beautiful person. Thank you. I thank you very much for being you. Thank you. And thank you for tuning in.